Okay, here we are. It's Wednesday, December 5th, and Patrick Ho, of the China Energy Fund Committee, has been found guilty on seven of eight charges brought against him for payment of corrupt payments to the president of Chad, attempted, Idris Deby, to the foreign minister of Uganda, Sam Kutesa. $500,000 was wired, and he was convicted on money laundering on that count as well. The only one of the seven of the eight counts on which he was found not guilty was money laundering, Chad scheme. And the reason is, is that they paid $2 million in cash, cash in a, in a gift box. Um, so the, the answer, the, the, the lesson is cash is king. In any case, a verdict reached very quickly. The evidence was overwhelming. And from our perspective, the most striking thing about the case is just how corrupt the UN has become. Throughout the case, you had, at the beginning, while he was president of the General Assembly, Vuk Yeremich doing business for China Energy Fund Committee, selling potash as PGA, then hooking them up with Gadio, who in turn arranged and facilitated the offer of a bribe to the president of, of Chad. Um, then they continued their scheme in Uganda, um, hooking up with Sam Kutesa while he was PGA. Accompanied by UN security, Sam Kutesa went to Hong Kong and made Ye Jimin, the now missing head of CEFC, a special consultative advisor to the President of the General Assembly. This is how corrupt the UN, the, the UN is. Oil magnates as advisors, oil companies as NGOs, a Secretary General who does nothing but cover up weapon sales to dictators. Absolutely disgusting. We're hoping now to speak to the defense lawyers and possibly jurors out here in the cold. To be continued. Mm. And so here we are, after the verdict, Patty on seven of eight charges, Journalists from Hong Kong and elsewhere waiting. Two jurors just walked by. Um, they didn't want to answer questions, so I said, thank you for your service. And serve they did, listening to six days of grueling evidence showing the absolute corruption <laughs> of the United Nations. A place where, despite the many claims in the UN Charter, it's descended into being a place where weapons are offered to dictators for oil. That happened. Idris Deby. Sheikh Gadio, Patrick Ho of the China Energy Fund Committee. And guess what? Current Secretary General Antonio Guterres has left. Yes, to Big Tony. Big Tony, as, as the readers just said. Big Tony has left China Energy Fund Committee still in the UN after the indictment. Absolutely corrupt. And what did he do? The one journalist that's covered the trial, not a single correspondent from the UN, Big Tony's big friends, not one, not one, came to cover the trial. Nope. And so, we're going to the front of the courthouse to see what's happening. It's quite chilly out here. They set up their cameras. They, had, they were hopeful. They were hoping. Big Tony is corrupt. He runs a corrupt organization where weapons are exchanged for oil, where N NGOs are run by oil companies, where the OIC's envoy on CAR was actually selling weapons, where Presidents of the General Assembly take presidents of the General Assembly. <laughs> presidents of the General Assembly go with the Secretary General of the China Energy Fund Committee and get named advisors and promise to make deals, even while they're PGA. Where UN Security witnesses crimes and does nothing except beat up a journalist reporting on them. This UN has hit a new low. Absolutely disgusting, and we will not rest until it's reformed. We also won't rest until we get back in with like a bunch of journalists falling asleep in the briefing room, falling over themselves to say how great Antonio Guterres is. Antonio Guterres is killing the UN, and this trial is another step to prove it. To be continued later today.